From kids who vanish, simply walking to the school bus in the morning, the longest held American hostage in history. Today we're going to take a look at the FBI's most wanted missing people. Number 13, Sarah Burton. Many are baffled by the disappearance of the 29-year-old Sarah Burton, who went missing on July 16, 2018. She was reported missing by her mother, who didn't hear from her in four days. She was last seen at a Payless shoe store, and there have been no reported sightings or contact from Sarah ever since. She's 5'7 and weighs roughly 170 pounds. Joplin Police Department urges anyone to call who might know where she is. There is a reward of up to $5,000 for information leading to the arrest of those responsible for her disappearance. Number 12, Wesley Dale Morgan. The next case is a good reason why you should always keep a close eye on your kids, no matter what the situation is, especially if they're this young. A two-year-old toddler by the name of Wesley Dale Morgan went missing over 18 years ago in the city of Clinton, Louisiana. His parents left him on the porch early in the morning on May 15, 2001, and he mysteriously vanished. It's one thing to leave your kid outside at night, but no one really expects this thing to happen that early. Investigators think he might look a little bit something like this in this age progressed photo. If you have any info, contact the FBI or the nearest American Embassy slash consulate. There could be a $10,000 reward for this missing person. Number 11, Aranza Maria Ochoa Lopez. Aranza Maria Ochoa Lopez went missing on October 25, 2018 at a mall in Vancouver, Washington while with her biological mother. Unlike many of the cases we'll mention today, investigators actually know who is responsible for her disappearance. A mother named Esmeralda Lynn Lopez Lopez kidnapped her own daughter during the supervised visit. She apparently stole someone's car and took her kid elsewhere. Aranza is only five years old, so she could still look very much like her photo at the moment. Her mother is about 5 feet tall and 138 pounds. The FBI is worried that she'll escape back to Mexico. Some details about this case still seem unclear, but it's rather likely that she's very dangerous. The state of Washington or the FBI will reward anyone with information leading to the arrest of Esmeralda. She's worth about $10,000, so keep your eyes open. Number 10, Amy Lynn Bradley. Amy, a 23-year-old American woman, went missing on a cruise ship in the Caribbean in 1998. Before the ship was docked in Curacao, Amy's parents noticed she vanished while she was on the deck. She was last seen running from the boat barefoot. Investigators read her personal postcards and it indicated that she had no plans to leave the cruise willingly. A few people reported spotting her at a brothel and their descriptions matched her appearance. Her parents still strongly believe that she was kidnapped, but she still hasn't been found. She would have aged about 20 years or so by now and should be 45 years old. Some researchers at the FBI have compiled some photos of what she might look like now and there's currently a $25,000 reward if you can provide information about her whereabouts. Number 9, Margaret Ellen Fox. A young girl in 1974 by the name of Margaret Ellen Fox went missing at the age of 14 in Mount Holly, New Jersey. During the time of her disappearance, she was wearing glasses and missing both of her front teeth. She took a bus in order to have an interview about a possible babysitting opportunity from a man who called himself John Marshall, and she was never seen again. It was discovered later on that this man had given her a phone number, but that number traced to a payphone. The last time anyone saw her was when she was gay on the bus. Now, over 40 years have passed by, and no one knows where she could possibly be. This photo we see here of what she might look like at the age of 56 might give us some clues. The FBI is offering up to $25,000 for information leading to the arrest of whoever is responsible for her disappearance. Philoma and Milena Luke these girls might be a little bit difficult to find, considering the fact that they went missing all the way on the Pacific Island of Saipan. But let's try to get them home to their parents as soon as possible. The two girls you see here were only 10 and 9 at the time they went missing. They were waiting for a school bus to arrive and have not been seen since. That was on May 25, 2011, and so much time has already gone by. They would be in their young 20s now, and no suggestions as to what they might look like except for this photo of Philoma and this photo of Milena. Of course, these are just wild guesses made by FBI analysis, and they're not easy to predict exactly how they'll age. There is currently a $25,000 reward for information leading to the discovery of Philoma and Milena Luke. Number 7. Akia Shanta Eggleston Imagine planning a baby shower for someone who is 8 months pregnant, but that person never showed up to receive any gifts. That's basically what happened to the friends of Akia Shanta Eggleston on May 7, 2017, when she was reported to be missing. She was last seen four days earlier in the Inner Harbor area of Baltimore, Maryland, and she was almost ready to give birth. 
Her family is going through much anguish about her disappearance and would love any information leading to her recovery. Many people are also wondering where the baby daddy is at, and he could be the one who's responsible for this. The FBI will also be offering a reward of $25,000. She's 4 foot 11 and 100 pounds and in her mid 20s. Number 6. Tabitha Daniel Tudors Tabitha Daniel Tudors was born on February 15, 1990, making her currently 29 years old. She was last seen in Nashville, Tennessee in 2003 when she was only 13 years old. She was simply walking to the school bus in the morning but never got on the bus and was never heard from again. She never arrived to school that day and no one can piece together what happened. Some clues that might help are her birthmark on her stomach and a scar on her finger. Both ears are pierced and she might look something like this in the photo. The investigators seem to have hit a dead end but some are still curious if it was one of the neighbors. Many don't feel as though Tabitha would have wandered off on her own due to her perfect school attendance, but who knows? There is currently a $50,000 reward for anyone who does know. Number 5. Shayan Kazemi Alright you guys, these next people are worth some serious cash if you're able to find them, so listen up. A television broadcaster by the name of Shayan Kazemi left from LA to fly to Istanbul where he last made contact with his family on September 24, 2011. He had checked into the Istanbul Royal Hotel the next day and has seemingly vanished ever since. He's been missing for over 7 years now and is an American citizen born in Iran and can speak several different languages. He's known to be a heavy smoker and takes a medication for diabetes. It's unclear exactly why the FBI is willing to put a $200,000 reward for information about him, but it's clear that he's valuable for something. Could he have been an FBI agent gone rogue? There isn't a ton of details about this guy, so who knows? Number 4. Kevin King and Tim Weeks Traveling around the country Afghanistan is a tricky business and some extreme travelers might take that risk. It seems like Kevin King and Tim Weeks are paying for it now. Kevin King is an American citizen who is traveling with a man named John Weeks. The two men were working as English teachers, teaching high-level English classes, but it still feels like there's more to the story than just that. The two men were forcibly removed from their car and kidnapped on August 7, 2016. Kevin King can also speak Thai fluently, which won't help him out too much in the Middle East, but maybe he was able to escape somehow and got off the grid. The return of Kevin King to a safe location is worth $1 million. Number 3. Austin Bennett Tice the high-profile kidnapping of a former Marine who went on to become a freelance journalist led to a promise made by the Commander-in-Chief to bring him home. That promise has not been fulfilled yet. He was working as a photographer in the country of Syria in 2012 for CBS when he was tragically kidnapped in a suburb of Damascus. He was featured in a video of him being blindfolded by a bunch of local men who were armed and hasn't been seen since. Some people criticize the video and think it was actually staged, but nonetheless, he still remains missing. His family is still hopeful that he's alive and that he'll get home somehow. He has quite a few noticeable scars and tattoos that might help identify him. This includes a barbed wire on his right arm and a tribal tattoo on his left arm. A $1 million reward is being offered for the recovery and the return of Austin Bennett Tice. We encourage you to watch the video and let us know in the comments section if you think he's faking it. Number 2. Paul Edwin Overby Jr. Another American citizen who mysteriously disappeared in parts of the Middle East where he shouldn't have really been going was Paul Edwin Overby Jr. His occupation stayed on the FBI's website says he was a freelance author and was in Khost City, Afghanistan doing research for his book. His disappearance took place in 2014 and now 5 years have gone by, leaving many with questions that might never be answered. He's now 77 years old and his health must be slowly getting worse and worse. But before we get to our number one FBI's most wanted missing person, we'd like to hear your thoughts about why people tend to go missing. Are the ones who disappear typically the ones to blame? Or is there something else we can do to prevent these kind of strange occurrences? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, Robert Levinson. A man who was working as a private investigator in the country of Iran traveled to Kish Island where he was working on behalf of many large corporations. He's a retired CIA agent and is likely still alive. However, he is being held hostage by his captors and until they meet a certain set of demands, he might never be released. A proof of life video was recorded that we see here after being held captive for three and a half years. He claims that the group that's holding him hostage is making demands from the US government that haven't been met yet. He's running out of diabetes medicine and there hasn't been an update since the video was released. He is now the longest held hostage in American history and no one really seems to be willing to hand him over. There is no way of knowing whether or not he's been moved to the mainland of Iran, but we know our drones are trying to figure it out without getting shot down. The roar was recently raised from $1 million to $5 million for the safe return of Robert Levinson. He likely hasn't shaved in a while and could look like this with a beard. To keep yourself updated, you can always check out the webpage, helpboblevinson.com.